Tobela, Dumelang, Absheni. My name is Jacob Mushokwa, behind the wheel of a Isuzu D-Max X-Rider. Now, if you check out the cars.coza website, you'll see that there's a bunch of D-Max X-Riders. In fact, KBs as well available for you to choose. They can match your pocket and your needs. So, check them out. Let's get into the business of the day. Today we're talking Bucky's, and it's gonna be very exciting. Cars.coza. No matter how big or small your car is, you can still save 420 per month. Budget, the official insurer of good South Africans. Now, the bucky market in South Africa is highly contested. If you look at what's available out there, there's so many options when it comes to double cabs. You know why? Families like them, business owners need them. In fact, even people like me, when we like to do a bit of an adventure, it's lucky to do it in a bucky. Now, here I am in a bucky that makes a lot of sense to a lot of South Africans, specifically price-wise. I mean, the price of this Isuzu D-Max X-Rider is around 741,000 Rand. That is a decent price point. And something I want to mention here is, there are so many Bucky's that are hitting the 1 million Rand mark and it's become completely normal. Now, for me, a Bucky needs to be rough and tough. A Bucky needs to be the kind of car where you can go and fetch cement for a buddy who's extending at home because he didn't buy enough cement. Or it's the kind of car that you want to take off-road or to the bush without thinking twice about, am I going to scratch the car? Now, if I'm paying 1.1 or 1.2 million Rand for a Bucky, I'm going to be very iffy about where I'm going. The Bucky market has sort of moved over to luxury double cab, and I think that's what's messing up the ruggedness of a Bucky. For me, this price point and this car is still rugged, and it makes a lot of sense for me for the few things that I need to do when I am in need of a Bucky. So if my mom needs help to throw out the garbage or clean out the garage, or you know, help her with trimming the trees, I've got a bucky to do that. But if it was a million rand bucky, huh, I'm sorry mama, you must call the garden higher. So here's what you're getting for the money you spend on this car, right? It comes with a 1.9 litre turbocharged diesel four-cylinder engine. That gives you about 110 kilowatts of power, 350 newton meters of torque. So the D-Max X-Rider also comes with a six-speed automatic gearbox. The drivetrain obviously comes in two options, 4x2 and 4x4. Towing capacity on a car like this is sublime. Isuzu's are great with towing. And I mean, if you look at 350 newton meters of torque, you can pull a full caravan, Joburg to Cape Town, no issues. I'm sure no issues. But for the sake of this experiment and this review, I've got zero experience in towing a caravan. So that's why there's no caravan. So, of course, driving a 4x4, you gotta talk 4x4 things while you are driving off-road. So I've actually brought this car to an amazing site where an amazing Cars.coza video went live sometime last year. In fact, the gents got to drive all the Bucky's back to back. You gotta check out that video because it compares apples for apples and likes for likes. Now, the numbers that matter in this car is, it's got ABS, it's got ESC, it's got hill start and descent assist, and it even has trailer sway control. In fact, the towing capacity of this car is 2,100 kilograms braked and 750 kilograms unbraked. Some more important features that you gotta know is that it of course has a front and rear differential. It has a very easy four wheel drive selector. In fact, you shift the knob quite easily from road to off road and it's even got an option for low range. And then of course you wanna know things like ground clearance. The D-Max X-Rider has 227 millimeters of ground clearance. It also has a 30-degree approach angle and a 24-degree departure angle. 
It also has 800 millimeters of wading depth. Did that all make sense? I think it made sense to me. Now, let me take you through the X-Rider bits in the car. On the dashboard, there's a red strip, some vinyl, black and red, even here on the door handle, and some red stitching on the headrest and the seats. It even has special limited edition X-Rider floor mats. <laughs> Quite a few things here set this car apart from a usual D-Max, just from the visuals. So you would think that Isuzu brought out the likes of the X-Rider as the halo, the, the, the be it, the alpha and omega of their buggies. But you know what? Isuzu also wanted to come play. And you know who they want to play with? They want to play with the big boys. So as much as this is the go-to bucky for Isuzu, these guys thought, hang on a second. Hang on a second. We can play a little more. And Isuzu has officially released a double cab bucky that can literally run circles around the X-Rider. <laughs> okay, so this is the Arctic Truck 35 AT35 D-Max. Woohoo! The big bad boy from Isuzu. So, they decided to take the X-Rider range to the next level. But I must tell you, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> So you might be asking, what exactly is an Arctic truck? This is a great collaboration between Isuzu and the guys who actually build the Arctic trucks. This is a very limited edition car, built locally in Quebeja, and only a certain number of them are built annually. So you're not likely to see this car very often. Pricing comes just shy of 1.2 million Rand. So what do you get? It's got a 3-litre turbo diesel engine. It pushes something like 140 kilowatts, 450 newton meters of torque. It's built purely for you to enjoy off-roading. It's got different suspension, Bilstein shocks, electric ride height adjustment, and it comes with very big off-road tires. So this car is essentially a great rival to the likes of the Ford Ranger Raptor and even the GR Hilux. So there's some other important numbers that you need to know. This car does a 0 to 100 in something like 12.4 seconds. But who cares about that? It's not a sports car. It's a bucky, right? It does 177 kilometers per hour. That's the top speed. There's a few things that are far or different between the two cars. This one feels way more luxurious. It feels more classier. It feels like I spent something close to 1.2 million Rand. Bearing in mind that this car doesn't have the same towing capabilities as the D-Max X-Rider. In fact, the D-Max X-Rider does towing way better than this car. Because of this suspension setup, the towing is slightly compromised. But the guys at Isuzu did say this collaboration is purely for off-roading. So you need to enjoy your off-roading. Or what are you prioritizing? Are you prioritizing off-roading or are you prioritizing towing? It's up to you. install from quick search to in-depth research do it all on our updated app some of the other safety aspects that are worth noting on this car include the rear cross traffic alert 
But there's other things here like adaptive cruise control and it also has blind spot assist. You might hear a beep here and there while we're driving because it's got lane departure assist. And the nice part is the steering wheel sort of gives you a vibration and guides you back into the right lane. This one comes with a five year, 90,000 kilometer service plan, five year, 120,000 kilometer warranty and roadside assist, and you also get a five year anti-corrosion warranty. So here's some 4x4 stats that you need to know in this car. The weighting depth of this car is 865 millimeters. It also has a steep approach angle of 33 degrees, while the departure angle is 23 degrees. It also comes with an all-purpose designed lift kit, which takes the ground clearance up to 266 millimeters. But all of those numbers don't matter because this car is built purely for things like this. So this X-Rider is of course not very highly specced versus the other cars in the range. This one has a smaller touchscreen. The aircon vents are little knobs that you got to twist and turn versus easy touch buttons in the Arctic. Yes, of course, I like that there's a 12 volt power outlet and of course a USB charger, but it lacks the premiumness of a wireless charger like the Arctic. And look at this. Is this what a normal key looks like in 2024? I can't believe I'm holding a key to a Baki in 2024. Yeah, well, anyway, the Arctic 35, key, let's go. So now we're on the back of the X-Rider. That red continues here on the door handle. It, of course, continues on the stitching as well. Armrest, two cup holders a proper seat belt for the middle seat. I also like this. You can uh, yeah, put your shopping bags there with a little hook. There's a USB port. There we go, just one USB port. A little storage part here at the top and a bigger storage container uh, underneath. As an adult sitting in the back, pretty comfortable. Uh, yeah, this is how it would be with my knees as Jacob being the driver and Jacob sitting here at the back. So I can do the long haul with a car like this. It's definitely comfortable for an adult to sit comfortably here at the back. I think the center would be tricky. It must be somebody quite young, not necessarily an adult could sit in the center that easily. Uh, 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 now, this is my good spot. This feels right. Let's check out the Arctic. and step into the Arctic Truck 35 and things are way more different. It's a lot more premium this side. The dials here for the aircon, very easy, one touch kind of vibe. There's a silver theme running around from the door handle to the dashboard, leather on the dashboard. Black theme, this is also leather. The seats are perforated as well. It's got a slightly bigger infotainment system. This one has slightly more tech, slightly more gizmos. In fact, let me grab my phone. There we go, look at that. Wireless charging. On the infotainment system, you can connect to the Apple CarPlay quite easily. I actually like where the Arctic Truck branding is here on the gear shifter. Very unique, very nice. So if you're into that kind of thing, where you're looking for a car with more tech, even clocks and compass on the infotainment system, then the Arctic truck is definitely for you. If you're not into any of those frills and fancy things, then there's nothing wrong with the X-Rider either. And now for the thing that makes a Bucky a Bucky. <laughs> now we know. Now we can see. Quick fun fact, this car comes with two valves on each tire. And the reason why 
is because when you're letting the normal air out on the one valve, you can let the nitrogen in on the other valve. Perfect for you when you're riding in the Arctic. We don't have an Arctic. We've got Maluti Mountains in Lesotho or something like that. Anyway, so no cooler box test. No, 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 no cooler box. You don't want the cooler box. No cooler box. So how do I conclude a day of driving two different buckies built by the same manufacturer? Isuzu is Isuzu. We know what Isuzu is about. Isuzu is about a no frills bucky that takes you from A to B and you can still get it really dirty. Then they built something that's a little more polished, like this Arctic 35. It doesn't appeal to me at all because I really am not a fan of polished buckies that you can't do things like this without feeling bad because I feel kind of horrible taking the car through this. I know it can take it. It has the all-terrain tires and all the jazz around it. But at some point, I feel like I should be doing this in the X-Rider because I know I've spent short of 700 odd thousand rand for that car and not a million plus for a car like this. So, I think that sort of wraps it up. For me, it tells the story of how Arctic Trucks has collaborated with a great brand that is Isuzu. It's two great brands making a new brand, the Arctic Truck 35. And the Arctic, the Arctic Truck 35 is going to appeal to a lot of people. But unfortunately, I'm not the target market. And even though it's very fun to do things like this, donuts, my money is with the D-Max X-Rider. That's what I'm driving home. That's my take home Bucky until I get to drive another crazy Bucky that costs an arm and a leg. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also let me know how my donut skills are. I'm learning. <laughs> Cars.coza. Are you busy trying to decide between two cars, three cars, four cars, five cars, six cars, and getting absolutely lost in all of the specs and all of the different pricing? Well, we have an excellent compare tool on our main website and in our app for you to use. It's very detailed, it's very slick and quick and efficient, and I highly recommend it. I use it all the time when I'm doing research for our car shoot. So check it out, we'll put the link in the description below, and tell us what you think. Tell us if it helped you out. You deserve insurance that doesn't feff around. Budget, the official insurer of good South Africans.